Konstantin Zinchenko, an official with the so-called Donetsk People's Republic, says Ukraine's armed forces have used high Mars twice to hit the town of Vonovaka with missiles. Zinchenko added that this happened during a morning ceremony in the memory of Vladimir Zoga, the Sparta battalion commander who lost his life a year ago. The strike is reported to have hit a building nearby the ceremony. According to unofficial information from Ukrainian side, Russian HQ was hit and occupied Vonovasi. The number of casualties is unknown for now. And more, this amazing video is showing Ukrainian drones spotting a group of Russians occupying a house in the Kherson region. Coordinates were sent back to the HQ and then Ukrainians obliterated the house with a high Mars strike vanishing everyone inside from existence. This one here is a command post of the Russian Vostok battalion after the arrival of High Mars. Вот она как тут проломила плиты. Второй этаж. Сейчас зайдём внутрь. And this is High Mars launch from an undisclosed road in eastern Ukraine. The Ukrainians are launching and retreating right afterwards, that way Russian counter-battery fire can't find them. So it's up to Russians find a static high Mars launcher and eventually to hit the target. But it's almost unbelievable that Russians didn't manage to hit either on of high Mars launchers, and for now the US has supplied Ukraine with 20 of them. We are not counting the inflatable models of equipment that Russia is destroying which would account for their 1000th high Mars being destroyed. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.